the phone rang and <laughs> it was my agent and she said, um, I have an offer for you and it's, um, it's an arc on the show Friends. What, what would you think about doing that? And I literally, like, I was, I was running and eating a donut at the same time because it's kind of like, you know, calories in, calories out. And I literally kind of fell off the treadmill. And I was like, hang on, wait, what did you say? Let me think about that for a second. Yes. So it really started to take off right in, right in that second season. So I was in seven episodes of the second season, and that's right when it started to just explode. And what was so cool about it is that they really, that cast really were so, was such a tight-knit group because sometimes when you have a huge success, it can almost feel like a crisis, as if something bad happened. It's a little scary because all of a sudden you're completely out there in the world and everybody knows you and it's exciting. But and so they kind of clung to each other and they bonded and, but they were very sweet with me and, and welcomed me into um, the group very smoothly. It was my birthday, the, my first day of rehearsal, and they took me out to lunch on set. And the girls were really into keeping their figure, so they would work out during lunch normally. And um, yeah, they were all very kind to me. And um, even though I knew ahead of time that I had an arc, that my story was going to last seven episodes and then it would end, it still felt when it was time for that last episode that I was being dumped and kicked out. It almost felt like I was going off to college and I didn't want to or something like that because I, I had become so close with them and I really didn't want to leave. And the other difficult part was that, you know, we take the show live. So the audience wanted uh, Rachel and Ross to get together much more than Ross and Julie. So a lot of times I would be booed. And, and you know, the, the whole joke of my character was that I was the nicest person on the planet and she kept calling me a bitch, right? <laughs> but, um, but still to this day, I feel like with the other credits I've done and because I've been in this business a long time, I still get the most touched when people, just like yourself, when we first met, uh, would come up to me and say it was the first time they ever saw an Asian face on screen like that. And, and it was very inspiring and uplifting, and that made me feel great because there weren't a lot of people on co of color, not on that show, but on any show, really, at that time. And so now it's gotten a lot better. This happens to me probably on a daily basis. Still, even today, because of all the reruns, someone at least once a day will stop me and go, oh my gosh, I know you from somewhere. And they can't figure it out and it takes a long time. They think they've gone to high school with me and they're not really sure. So now I just cut to the chase and I say, did you used to watch Friends? And they go, yeah, that's it, you're Julie. And I'm like, yeah, so then we can just get through it quicker. But it's always, it's always very sweet.